up until now we've seen expressions for distance x and we've been asked to find the velocity and the acceleration based on these expressions. In this example we're going to be given an expression for acceleration a is equal to 4t minus 30 and we're going to find the, ex the velocity and the distance based on this expression. One other piece of information that we're given is at time is equal to zero our velocity is equal to 3 meters per second and our distance is minus 5 meters. So the first thing we should do with this problem is we take a look at our equation for acceleration. Our acceleration a is equal to dv dt and it's this is the derivative of velocity with respect to time and we can move this dt over to the other side of the equation. So we get a dt is equal to dv. And what we can do is we can integrate both uh, sides of this equation. Now this a, in our previous videos, this a used to come outside the integral, but in this case, since a is dependent on time and we're differentiating with respect to time, this a needs to stay inside our integral. And when we substitute, we get 4t minus 30 dt is equal to the integral of dv. And our bounds on this integral are from a final time tf, and let's just call that t, to an initial time ti, and let's call that zero. Our bounds on velocity are from a final time, or a final velocity vf, let's call that v, to a initial velocity vi and because our time we're calling it zero from t is equal to zero we know that time is zero our velocity is three so our vi is going to be equal to three when we perform this integration we get 4t squared divided by 2 minus 30t evaluated from t to 0 is equal to v evaluated from v to 3. And simplifying this we get 2t squared minus 30t is equal to v minus 3. And our equation for v, we move this 3 to the other side, we get v velocity is equal to 2t squared minus 30t plus 3. And this is our expression for velocity. Now in order to get our distance, we take this equation and we're going to integrate it again. So if we look at, again, if we do this whole series of steps again, we have velocity is equal to dx dt. And we move dt to the other side of the equation. So v dt is equal to dx, and we integrate both sides. And our expression for v is right here. So we can have the integral of 2t squared minus 30t plus 3 is equal to the integral of dx. And our bounds on this are again going to be from a time t to a time 0 from t to 0 and our bounds on our x are going to be from an initial 
our final f, xf, which we will call x, to a initial x, x initial, which because our time is zero, our x is minus five, we can call this minus five. And when we perform this integration, we get two t to the third over three minus 30t squared over 2 plus 3t is equal to, um, this expression is going to be evaluated from t to 0, and it's equal to uh, x evaluated at x to minus 5. So if we simplify this, we're going to get 2t cubed over 3 minus 15t squared um, plus 3t is equal to x minus a minus 5. So this, this is going to turn into a plus and we can bring this plus 5 over to the other side of the equation so we get 2t cubed over 3 minus 15t squared plus 3t this is a plus 5 so it's a minus 5 minus 5 is equal to x and this right here is our expression for the distance.